Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to practical use of the track plug from WaveArts. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys, I guess, how a track plug would be used in a real life situation. So let's get on with it. I have real guitar here. I have a whole bunch of smacks and mutes, but there's something wrong with this. Listen up. All right, so first of all, it's low. And if you have really good sensitive ears, you can hear that there's a pitch happening and it's very annoying. So we're going to get rid of that. So let's take it into our mixer here. I have real guitar on five. I'm going to insert. I'm going to insert the track plug. Track plug five. Here, here you go. So track plug five has a whole bunch of things an EQ, gates, compressors. So first thing I want to do is compress the hell out of it because it's too low. So I'm going to enable. You can see it's doing some work. You can see it's compressing more, more, more. Right now it's not compressing. So there's a little bit of visual editing here. As you can see the slopes and stuff like that, I can move it, change it, and do a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm going to keep it around the default. I'm going to do that. And I also want to do some makeup gain. Miss too much compression. We don't want to compress it way too much. Like, this sounds too much. Right? So, there we go. My ratios make it 5, threshold at minus 22, and gain at 11.3. I usually like to keep it the same as the ratio, like that, but I want to make it a little higher so we can all hear it. Right? So. 26, 24, somewhere around there. Alright, so now you can hear the buzz. And how would you take out the buzz? Would you use an EQ to like sweep it around? Right, there's the buzz there. Would you do it like that? That's a good way. It's alright, but there's other ways. Now, we are using this smacks or the smacks as percussion, so there really needs to be no sustained pitch. So, what we can do is use a gate. Enable. Check it out. It's already almost gone. The further you go down, the more you hear it, the less you're gating. All the way down is off, basically. If I go all the way up, you don't hear anything. Because it doesn't hit the threshold. If I go to maybe 24, oh, there we go. Alright, get the idea. So let's keep it around. Like, I don't mind a little bit of buzz because in a mix it doesn't really matter to me. But, you know, if you're really, you know, sensitive to that and, you know, annoyed by that sound, then keep it up high. But that sounds good right there. Yeah, we can also EQ it now. Get the sounds that you want. There's a good spot. Low shelf. Maybe do that. Maybe add another point. I want to get those snare tones around 100, 200, 300, somewhere there. All right, and there you go. We can also change the gain here if we want. Go higher up. You don't have to. I like the sound of this. Right there. And there you go. So that's a really quick review, or not review, a really quick um, run through track plug. Right? You want? We just did a run through through track plug. Track plug five. We showed you. I showed you the gate. Compressors. You can also do a double compression happening if you want to. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this helped a little bit. And um, track plug is really essentially everything you need, you know, in one little box. All right. So I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.